Hello and welcome back to Automotive Solutions. I've been sorting out some of my equipment while I've been in lockdown. Uh, just charging things up, checking things over and I've been meaning to get another battery for my little snap-on 7.2 volt screwdriver. So one of the batteries works absolutely fine, will always charge, not a problem. The other battery is completely, completely more or less dead, but it won't accept a charge when you go in the charger. It just will will not take a charge. The red light in the charger flashes, and it won't. It'll never. It always stay like that. It won't charge. So, my theory is that the um, the state of the battery is so low that the charger uh, won't attempt to charge it. Uh, whether it's a safety thing or not, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it just won't. It won't. It won't accept the charge. So, um, measuring the voltage of the two batteries. So the good one, we're up at seven point seven volts. And the bad one, we're on 1.2 volts. So that is far too low. So I'm going to attempt to uh, going to attempt to increase the charge on it, and then uh, then put it back in the charger and see if it's and see if the charger will take over from there. And if so, get another another couple of years or so out of it before uh, before it's dead. But I think it's just been left too long and um it got so low that it just won't accept the charge so i'll show you what i'm going to do next so i'm just going to put the um the good battery in just to show what happens so you get a flashing red light which then goes solid which shows it's charging then continues to charge and then goes green as you know and put that in with my flat battery and we get a flashing red light, which just stays flashing. It will never charge it. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and increase the voltage on this so that the charger can then take over and charge. So I'm just going to take it to take the cover off of it um, just to see what's inside. Just a few little clips in here. There we go, that's off. And in there, there's just three cells. No electronics, just the three cells. So, put that back together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply using, I've got one of these uh, snap on 5 volt reference probes which lets you apply up to 5 volts to components and I'm just going to put, I've got it set to 4 volts and I'm just going to, I'm just going to um, increase the voltage of this battery by applying 4 volts I'm just going to get it up hopefully by a volt or two and then try it in the charger uh, and see if that works so I put that on the, they're labelled up, there's a negative and a positive so I put that on the negative that on the positive Actually, we just we just take the volt take the voltage before we start, just to make sure. So we're one point two two volts. Uh, okay, put that on the negative. That on the positive, and we're going to apply four volts for probably about fifteen or twenty seconds. And the theory is, the voltage from the battery supply is going to increase the voltage in the uh, rechargeable battery. I don't want to give it too much in case it's putting lots of current in but hopefully it's just a, a small current for a small amount of time so I hope it won't do any damage just want to get the voltage of this battery up so that the uh, the actual main charger can take over and charge it back up and hopefully the battery will survive and be of use to me so I'll give it another about another five seconds and uh, see if we've increased the voltage Okay, let's try that. And you see on there we're up at 3.7, nearly 3.8 volts. So what we're doing without further ado, pop this in the charger. There we go, it's flashing like it always has done. Now it's gone solid. Gone solid and that will now take over the charging until 
obviously you get a green light this side to say it's fully charged. So I'll let it charge up and then I'll test the battery and see, uh, see if it works in the gun. So after about an hour or so, it's gone green, fully charged. Just see what the, uh, the snap on charged it, snap on charge it charged it to uh, 8.3 volts. Put that in there. Well, I'll give that a long term test and uh, See whether that survives that or not. But yeah, at least it lets it be charged again. So we'll see how that goes, and uh, hopefully you find this useful. Uh, I did look up what the the uh, VR probe maximum current was, and it's 1.5 amps maximum current. So it's probably much the same as a. Um, half decent mobile phone charger I would think so I would imagine best thing is probably not to put too much current in the batteries in one go at too high voltage obviously otherwise you could obviously uh, overheat them and they might go bang so it's at your own risk be careful um, but yeah let's revive this one Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.